Time now for the morning rush. Let's start with Kristen Curry. Good morning. Still waiting on our next big weather maker expected over the weekend. So at this point, we're just going to see a lot more sunshine today. Less wind as we get into the later part of the afternoon and temperatures warmer. We're seeing widespread 50s, 60s and 70s and temperatures continuing to climb for the next several days. Crystal. Thanks so much, Kristen. As you get ready to head out the door, we're following today's top local stories and we start with Fernanda Lopez. Happening today, an emergency meeting of the state's Board of Finance to figure out how New Mexico will pay for its court system. New Mexico Supreme Court Chief Justice Charles Daniels has for months been asking for more money to pay jurors, uh, warning they could be forced to halt jury trials starting March 1st. Now, Governor Susana Martinez vetoed a funding bill last week and called for the Board of Finance to take on that issue again. That meeting is happening this morning, and the five facts details on the new halted bill in the Senate. Adam. Residents in New Orleans will begin picking up the pieces today after multiple tornadoes touched down in the southeastern part of Louisiana yesterday. The governor has since issued a state of emergency. The twisters damaged or destroyed multiple homes and businesses and knocked out power to tens of thousands of people. More than a dozen people were hurt. And this morning, we're still waiting on a decision from a panel of three judges on President Donald Trump's controversial travel ban. This a day after the federal appeals court in San Francisco heard arguments for and against it. The Justice Department argued the ban should be able to continue while the court hashes out its ruling. Attorneys representing several states maintain there is no harm in holding off on the policy for now until the courts have confirmed that it is legal. Developing this morning, Betsy DeVos is now the education secretary after an historic vote. Vice President Mike Pence broke a 50-50 tie, becoming the first VP to do that for a cabinet nomination. Two Republicans joined Democrats to vote in an attempt to derail DeVos's nomination. Democrats cited her lack of public school experience and also financial interests in organizations pushing charter schools. On to new details, Albuquerque Public Schools will have two new board members, while two will keep their seats. 19 people were vying for four seats. Candy Patterson will represent West Mesa in District 5. Elizabeth Armijo easily won District 6 in the Northeast Heights. In the meantime, two incumbents, Board Vice President Lorenzo Garcia and Board President David Percy, were re-elected. Sarah? Tonight, the Park and Recreation Department wants your thoughts on improvements to South Valley facilities. It's part of a series of meetings to discuss and prioritize projects on the Rio Bravo Master Plan. Some of those projects include the South Valley Pool, Rio Bravo Senior Meal Site, and South Valley Park. We posted more information on the meeting on KRQE.com and on the KRQE News app. Kristen? Today's Metro Threat Index up to a three. We're still going to be looking at breezy conditions at times, especially for the first half of our day. Winds out of the northwest about 10 to 20 miles per hour. And chilly temperatures in the 30s to start, but nothing of concern this afternoon. I mean, our temperatures are 15 degrees above average here in the metro area with a good mix of sun and clouds overhead. Crystal? This morning, the Padi the Mesa is a little bit cleaner. This after Bernalillo County removed more than 400 tons of used tires from one section. Officials say they were taken from a private property after the county sued the owner for violating Bernalillo County's solid waste ordinance and asked a judge to allow crews onto that property. The county spent $79,000 of grant money for the cleanup. A man who stole a million dollars from a New Mexico Pueblo is awaiting sentencing after pleading guilty to federal embezzlement charges. Investigators say Marshall Cheremaya was an assistant manager at a gas station on the Laguna Pueblo. He had the keys to an ATM machine and was caught on camera stealing the cash. He now faces up to five years in prison. On to news new at 6, Twitter introducing new steps to fight hate speech and abuse this morning. The company says it will identify serial abusers and stop them from creating new accounts. And a new safe search feature it removes tweets on blocked and muted accounts from general search results. Many drivers will likely pull into a parking garage in Santa Fe this morning that the state says is safe, despite a fight over who should pay for a million dollar mistake on the structure. The state is suing a construction company saying it's responsible for repairs to the state owned parking garage right near the Capitol. Builder Gerald A. Martin built it six years ago. New this morning, a new survey by the website creditcards.com says around 12 million Americans have concealed a bank or credit card account from their spouse or living partner. Baby boomers, you're nearly four times as likely as millennials to have hidden an account. A quarter of respondents said they spend about $500 or possibly more without consulting with their partner. That can get you in trouble. Kristen. All right, let's take a look at our morning commute. Nothing out there. Everything is moving at posted speeds on both interstates. Surface streets moving fine as well. We'll keep you updated in case anything major pops up.
New this morning, sci-fi fans are mourning the loss of actor Richard Hatch. He's most well known for his role as the captain in the 1978 series Battlestar Galactica. The role earned him a Golden Globe nomination. His family said in a statement that he had been battling pancreatic cancer. Hatch was 71 years old. He will be missed. On to this, a slab of rock in one New Mexico town is sparking debate this morning. Jody McFarland in Tularosa says she and her friends spotted an image while cutting rock. Take a look at your TV screens here. What do you see? Some say it's a Virgin Mary. Others say they see Jesus. While there's clearly a difference of opinion, McFarland says they all agree the stone hmm. has spiritual power. What do you guys see? Pretty interesting, interesting mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, fascinating. The largest stained glass window in the world is about to be finished in Kansas. Resurrection window will be massive when it's done, about the size of a basketball court. It's set to depict everything from religious images to humanitarian icons. There are more than 160 panes of glass being fused together in California. They will then be shipped back to be put together like a puzzle. Wow. That's wow. impressive. Right. And yeah, religion too. and beliefs aside, that is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Yeah. All right, time now for the five facts. Start with number five. One state lawmaker says it's about time New Mexico has an official winter holiday song. It's called Gracias New Mexico. It talks about New Mexico traditions and the scenery during the holidays, including luminarias. If you want to hear the song for yourself, go to our website, krqb.com. It's pretty catchy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can have a listen to it there. Number four, the Rio Rancho School District is asking parents to put their kids on the bus, either this morning or this afternoon. Each year, the state determines the transportation funding based on how many students ride on the 80th and 120th day of school. Rio Rancho officials say they never received sufficient funding for transportation and that operationally, they claim they never fully recovered from significant cuts in 2008. At number three, looking at warmer temperatures today in the mid 60s, breezy to windy to start the day, but those winds will gradually ease up through the day today. Temperatures continuing to climb. We'll finish up the week in the 70s, still on track for some rain and snow over the weekend. On to number two now, a state panel set to meet today for an emergency meeting to make sure the court system does not run out of money. Governor Susana Martinez called the meeting as a proposal makes its way through the legislature to provide $600,000 to pay jurors and 82,000 for other costs. Now, this comes after Martinez vetoed another bill just last week, alluding in her memo to believing the courts could be operating more efficiently. The Chief Justice of the New Mexico Supreme Court maintains the courts are doing all that it can to cut back. Number one, a Senate vote is expected to happen as early as tonight on Senator Jeff Sessions as the nation's next attorney general. Democrats have been staging another marathon floor debate all night long, objecting to his nomination. And at one point, Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren was reprimanded for delivering a critical speech about the Alabama senator, receiving a rare rebuke from leadership. She is now barred from speaking on the floor for the rest of the debate. We'll keep you posted on what happens as it develops this morning on air and on the news app.